He says he wants to keep racing part-time, doesn't know exactly what the next chapter looks like. I imagine it will include at least some TV work, maybe more TV work than he does now. Whether that's for NBC, maybe that's for one of NASCAR's new broadcast partners like the CW, broadcasting the full Xfinity schedule next season. No matter what Clickerman ends up doing, no matter where he goes, I'm sure he will do his job at a very high level. for stock car racing. Wanted to start with that. Now, before we talk about our free agency, some of the latest rumors, this episode is sponsored by Electric Elements. It's Escape the Ordinary with the Electric Exit. It's an all-terrain e-bike that encourages you to be well able to take on even the most rugged of them to check out the X-Peak and other great electric rides available. It's been a few weeks, but today fans are talking free agency after the Athletics' George Bianchi published a story. I'll link the full piece down in the description below. If you've been paying close attention, I don't think there's anything earth-shattering, but there are a few interesting details that folks are discussing today. We'll start with Corey LeJoy. He will not return to Spire Motorsports this year. Jordan Bianchi writes, His name was linked to a championship contending truck series team, but Rick Ware Racing is now viewed as the likely landing spot. Very interesting. Wonder who the championship contending truck series team may have been. I will assume that deal fell through due to sponsorship issues. Or maybe Corey LaJoy would rather take a cup series salary than truck series money, which I can't blame him if that's the case. But whatever the reason, a move to Rick Ware Racing would put Corey LaJoy back into the kind of situation he is most comfortable in. Smaller team low expectations that's where lajoy seems to fit best dk racing to go fast to spire in its early years no one expects you to contend fans will cheer when they see you run up here in the front at the occasional super speedway race treat your sponsors well sign every autograph be a lovable underdog i think that's always been the most natural role for Corey lajoy this season 2024 was the first year, maybe ever, that fans had decent expectations for LeJoy. And he didn't. No one was realistically expecting to make the playoffs this year, but top 25 in points, maybe top 20. It's a young team this year. LeJoy, the veteran leader, should lead by example. That's what was expected, and LeJoy has come nowhere close to meeting those expectations. Instead, he's 32nd in points. As many top 10 finishes as his rookie teammate. That same rookie teammate is 10 positions higher in the standings. There were finally real expectations this year, and it hasn't gone well. I still think Corey LaJoy is a capable driver. I think he will be more comfortable with Rick Ware Racing next season. I think the results will be similar, but I think we'll see less mistakes. And as far as Rick Ware Racing is concerned, assuming this happens, I think it's a lateral move for them. Look, Justin Haley is young, extremely talented, but Corey LaJoy is in his 30s. Veteran experience, experience with small teams, teams that are trying to establish their identity. And LaJoy has always been good with sponsors. Schluter system, their support for years. He used to have, you know, Build Bar, Celsius this year, Chili's this year. That's been a pretty big campaign. And remember a few years ago when Corey LaJoy helped bring Old Spice back into the fold for a race or two? That was fun. Corey may not have lost Justin Haley, but he's a veteran, may attract some big time sponsors for a smaller team like Rick Ware, who again is still trying to establish their identity. They're still trying to reinvent their image, if you will. I think LaJoy brings oh, I'm trying to get as many hits as I can. That's I don't so think this is like a huge downgrade from Rick Ware's standpoint. But that being said, the second part of this swap, should it come to fruition, is Justin Haley heading to Spire. If this happens, Spire Motorsports wins the trade. I think they're getting the better prospect, a driver with a much higher ceiling at this point. Justin Haley is only 25 years old, but he's got now nearly four full years of Cup Series experience. 
He's not a rookie. Go back a few years ago, he was a championship four driver in the Xfinity Series. This year, with a ninth place run at Darlington, a ninth place run at Gateway, I think he's re-entered the top prospect conversation. If Spire is able to pair up an experienced 25-year-old with Rodney Childers, veteran championship caliber crew chief, they could be the breakout story of 2025. Well, I guess Rodney Childers would be breaking up, but Justin Haley would be the breakout star of next season. It's possible. Spire Motorsports has made major investments in the team they expect to contend. That's why they made the hard decision to let Corey LaJoy go. If they can pry Justin Haley away from Rick Ware, effectively trade drivers, I think they win this trip. I don't think it's a terrible deal for Rick Ware. I think Corey LaJoy gives them a lot of what that team needs at this moment, but Justin Haley to Spire with Rodney Childers, that's interesting. That's going to sell tickets. I'm excited to watch that pairing, potentially. So, uh, athletic reporting that these talks are happening. Nothing confirmed, nothing a done deal, but that's where both sides are leading. You've heard that in the past. That's been out there for a few weeks, but nice to hear an update. One more topic from this athletic piece I am going to cover. Click the link down below again to read the full story. I encourage you to do so, but they also talk about front row motorsports. Jordan Bianchi writes that should sponsorship come together, Zane Smith is likely to return to the front row. He also notes that Smith is still held in high regard by front row personnel, even after leaving the team for track house last season, which that might be surprising for some people to hear, not me. When I talked about Zane Smith a few weeks ago, folks were trying to tell me, hey, front row's not going to take him back, not after how he left them for Chevrolet. He burned that bridge, not a chance. I've never heard any of that, and now it sounds like none of that is really true. Look, again, it's sponsorship dependent, but if the funding comes together, I don't think any pits of animosity is going to prevent Zane Smith from destroying the front coach. I think it's a very natural fit. Obviously, they have history. They won a truck series championship together two years ago. He would join a young lineup that includes Todd Gilliland, who I think has been impressive this year, been top 20 in points most of the season, and Noah Gregson, who's also shown flashes. He and Zane Smith appear to be pretty good friends off the racetrack, so I think it's a natural fit. The question is sponsorship, and then I guess the charter agreement, because Front Row, elephant in the room, is one of the two teams who did not sign NASCAR's latest proposal. So, TBD, what happens next? <laughs> I hope it all works out because a Ford team of Zane, Todd, Noah next year, ooh, I'm not sure they'll be great. I'm not sure they'll even be good, but they will be interesting at the very least. I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing it. So again, none of this is confirmed. Click that link down below to read more from The Athletic. They've got reports on other teams, other drivers as well. But just thought those were kind of interesting. Saw folks on social media reacting to these latest updates. Figured I'd chime in and let you know who I thought would come out ahead of these deals. Before I go, you may have seen this morning, I uploaded a walk and splend preview. My buddy Brian Stevens and I took a close look at every playoff bubble driver's recent road course numbers. Here's just a short clip of our conversation. Check out the full walk and split preview on my channel. Ty Gibbs. I see him as like the biggest wild card of these playoffs. He entered this, these playoffs as the 15 seed. No one expects the 15 seed with no wins on the air to make that much noise. But Joe Gibbs racing car. I feel like they've started to pick up the pace recently. He's a good young road racer. What do you think of Ty Gibbs? I, I love Ty Gibbs this weekend. Um, I have him as fourth best in metric performance ranks on road courses. Top three in adjustment speed in all those races. Um, and this team came here with a top five car last year. And the second five about Denny, Ty Gibbs is the same way. Qualified well and stayed up there all day. No reason they think they can't do that again. Um, in all Gen 7 road course races, he has the 10th best true average running position. Um, and if you look at only 23 and 24, because that first year they're kind of you know, figuring some things out, especially with Toyota had some issues. Um, he's clearly gotten stronger, more comfortable in the car, and now if you look at this 23-24, he has the fifth best true average running position in all of those races. So I expect him to be up there. I do think he's kind of a wild card as far as what strategy will they play this weekend. I don't know if they'll go after the safe points or if he's up there. They should try to win and get through. 
I mean, right on the cut line, so in a couple ways I think they could go there. But I think he can be strong to speak to Bristol, so that'll be one to watch. I know we're a little slow on that and win the race, but I do, just in general, stat-wise, there's no denying. I, I love how I get to speak to Again, the full video is up on my channel. Be sure to check it out if you're interested. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe for more. And a big thank you to my generous Patreon supporters. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, folks. I will talk to you again. Did not use him. Did you know he was him? Dang, he's good, bro. Why is he so sweaty? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, is he so sweaty? Oh. oh, why is he so sweaty? Oh. 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 Oh, 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 mm. 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 Mm.